Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. Welcome back to NG Studios, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Last episode, we solved the case, hopefully, of ghosts of the past, and now it's time to finally go and leave the hotel and go visit our mother. I had a... Funny, I tried to visit my mother today, but she wasn't home. She was doing errands. Oh, well, hey, at least I can visit my mother in-game now. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Alright, well, let's do that. Let's go visit our mother. Mother! <laughs> Ooh, nice place we got here. Come on, Sherlock, don't dilly-dally. Is everything alright? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Well, apparently it's been ten years since, so you know... I really don't remember. To what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. See? John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Hmm. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. Yeah, exactly. On contrary, don't bring it up. Don't worry I'm about it. It's her grave. To remember her. Good for you, Sherlock. Uh, I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Liberian vagrant, uh, secretive, hostile. Okay, let's stay away from him for now. Huh? Right, let's look around, see if we can't find Mama's grave. Huh? Let's see. No. Hmm. Oh, someone up here. Who we got? Yoruba Shoemaker, pub re regular, unfriendly. Alright. How about him? Arab worker, southpaw, despising. Oh, okay. Is everyone here? Well, I'm in a, a, a graveyard, so I guess it shouldn't be too much of a. Reason to assume, but still, I mean, it's like, can it be like one cherry person here? Also, I was suffering from food poisoning. Cordonian baker. Okay, seriously, is everyone here miserable? Come on, if you know it doesn't have to be such a bad place, I mean, come on. So I'm gonna look around, see if we can find anyone, and hopefully find my mama's grave. Uh, hey, I mean, this guy's uh, more cheerful. Irish so Taurus, social anxiety, sympathetic. At least he's not like depressed, you know. No, not that way. Oh. Hello. Who are you? Swedish shoemaker, polyglot, uh, sympathetic. Okay, hey, let's, let's try talking to him. Oh, I can't. Alright. Let's see. Mama, where are you? Hey, who are these guys? German Cadger hides knife, unfriendly. How about your friend here? I say, as I just said, he was unfriendly. Unfriendly. Harass, harms animals? Man, what is wrong with the people in this place? Who are you? A con cobbler has scurvy, unfriendly. All right, you know what? I've only met like two people here who are not like hostile, and they're both miserable. Are oh, you despise nostalgic? Oh, come on. Nope, can't go that way. Can't go in here. Or here. Or here. Let's see. Oh, uh, casebook. Wait, let me know. John asked if I remember my mother's funeral. I can I don't, but I can try to recall something. Huh? Let's see. Maybe my mom's grave is somewhere over here. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't see him before. Codonian bookseller, nostalgic, despising. Oh, jeez. Alright. 
Where, oh, where? Maybe she's back over this way. Hold on, I think I have a map, don't I? Yeah, I do. Hold on, what's this? Okay. So there's a whole. I already met over there. Wait, wardrobe? But I can change my appearance? Oh, disguises! Okay, yeah. Sherlock Holmes, the master of disguise. I like how I can just like jump down, that's fun. Right. Let's go over here. Maybe Mama's somewhere over here. Oh. Well, it's an old little house here. No? Okay. Where could my mom be buried? No. Is that her? How am I supposed to get over there? Hmm. No. Okay. So that kind of works. He's like, where could she be? Is uh, is that her? So look around. No. Where's the thing where I can like? No. Let's see. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I have to ask people. Let's see. I gotta find someone who can. Tell me about uh, the funeral. Friendly. Okay. We'll t we'll try with this guy. Are you able to help me? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. All right. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Friendly. May I ask you something? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. So I just ask you around? I know, I know. Turkish miner. Alright. Probably not him. Try one of these people up here. Cobbler. Hey, he knows. Let's see. You know, I'll try it anyway, just for fun. Help me, please. A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Alright, alright. Wait, that guy over here. Excuse me, just one question. A man like you should not speak to a man like me. This isn't working. What do you want to say, John? If Sherlock keeps asking the same thing every person with me, it'll go mad. Doesn't he realize something is not working? Yeah, well... You might need a different tag. Like what? Uh, I know, I should be thinking logically and all that kind of stuff, but... Wait, hold on, those guys are there. They look like they were official workers. We'll try talking to them. No, oh, they're gone. Oh, wait, no, here they are. Irish cobbler, French poet. We'll just try. Excuse me, just one question. Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. You know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna keep asking everyone until I find the right person. Do about this? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Okay, Time right, to we're... check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking? About what? And can I ask you a question? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Alright, I have a few options left about who I can talk to. Pretty sure that's John over there, yeah. Maybe one of the guys over here. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Alright. Uh, him. Didn't I already ask him? Yeah, I think I did. I don't know who else I can ask then. Are you able to help me? Your money doesn't impress me. Can you satisfy my curiosity? 
Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? Well, no, apparently I don't. Uh, let's be asking around. I can't get to him to ask him. Unless, unless I can actually jump. Uh. Okay, right, last mode, map, movement, camera, interact. Yeah, there's nothing. <sighs> See, I can't talk to him, so I can't get to him. Oh, wait, hold on. It's, yeah, I think it is John. What? Oh, seriously? Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Uh, we're in the funeral. Uh, let's see. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate. And I'm sure it'll oh. come back to you. Okay, I have to follow it. Uh. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. Hmm. I didn't believe him even then. Oh, Sherlock. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. That all that time wasted. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Hey, Ma. Violet Holmes. Thanks, imaginary friend. <laughs> nice watch. watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Well, let's have a look. I'm just gonna grab that. Oh. What we got? Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, mother. Let's see. Here we go. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The yeah. piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Oh, you think? Wait, a uh, candle, okay. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Hmm. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? Trying to call your mother's funeral. Let's see. Well, I recalled the funeral. Let me go talk to the guy over here. Codonian worker. He has hydrophobia. Affable. Try to talk to him. Do you know anything about this? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. May I ask you something? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. So someone visited the grave. Maybe. Hold on. Here we go. 5.5 feet tall. Fashionable shoes, brand new. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. Let's see. Fashionable shoes. Ah, here we are. Move. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not 
care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on, then. The trail continues ahead. Let's see. Ah, I know where the bike is. I saw it. Uh... That's it right here. There it is. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. I know where to go. Okay. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercurio. Hmm. It's stained with oil paint. Huh. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? No, because you're imaginary. Wait, hold on, wait. Okay, I can just go back to looking at it. Alright. Let's go deal with this guy over here. There we are. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Oh, man. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. Yeesh, it was man. a welcome distraction. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Hmm. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Hmm. Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course. We display landscapes, sculpture, Modern pieces, too. Modern. I'm sure you have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. <laughs> then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. I've never been the biggest artistic person. Because I, I was been to my, my city's look, like city's art museum. And I was even at the Smithsonian Art Museum. And... None of the portraits really spoke to me, so to say. I just... I'm not an art guy, I guess. Uh, visual art, like movies? Uh, yes. Uh, but nothing else, though. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh, my. It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. Hmm. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Hmm. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. Yes, I yes. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too were loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. Good for you, and Sherlock. What is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Ooh. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. He killed her, otherwise didn't he? Than consumption. No, no, you'd know better than I. Well, I'd heard I talk do? of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. Mm. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Thanks, no I guess. I don't know why I would, but you know. Whatever. 
And also, I kind of. All right, Sherry. Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. Hmm. Okay. So I will kind of agree with him when he said that, you know, beauty can be found anywhere. I had to take a photography class when I was in college, and one of the pictures I took was it's just this old staircase leading down to like this little pit area uh, in school. I took it at night after it had rained, and it was probably the best piece I took in that whole class because I actually thought it was good. You know, I have all the things. Also, I took multiple pictures of it, even though I was supposed to take multiple pictures of different locations. My professor didn't fail because he liked it too. So that kind of tells you about something. The archives at the City Hall Police Station and Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. Alright. Let's see. I'm the funeral. Let's see. Local story. Local is the man that left. My mother's watching the grave. Local claim. It was his way to return what I belonged to me. He also mentioned that there was a police investigation in my mother's death. I thought that's true, but if they did, there would be something. They had a police archive two years ago. We were living somewhere in Grand Surrey, which would be helped me narrow my search. Okay. See a visitor. Yeah. Okay. So map. Let's see. Uh, go down to cemetery. No. Greek bridge. Uh, where are we? Godona Police Station. Godona Chronicle. Let's go to market. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. We were living... We were living in Grand Saray. So we're in Grand Saray. Okay. Miners and Silverton. Scando, Grand Saray. Okay, so Traders Alley. So, no. Oh, maybe that's just like when I get there. It's like uh, so we need to go there. Okay, yeah. Man, this place is actually pretty big. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I got the London only two people attend the service, and it's all silent. My car called me until I calmed down. As of sessions, no. I just thought there was a police station to my resident. Okay, so let's try and go to the police station. Can I go there from here? I doubt it. Oh, I can! Alright. Let's see. Where would the map be? Okay. So, can I like mark it? No. Okay. So basically, just turn right on the street and go down, follow the street all the way to the police station. All right. Make sure. All right. Yep. Go down this street and follow it all the way to the police station. Oh my gosh! Look at this place. It's like it's like California. New fast travel point, Emperor's Aqueduct. All right, fast travel extra, point. Extra, extra, Luca, what you've done. Criminal Luca Galici, posing as a medium, confesses to the strangulation of a noble woman. Oh. The cheapest news on the island. All right, I'll go ahead and buy it. Thank you. Luca, what you've done. Man, come on. I can th oh no, wrong way. No, no, don't turn anywhere. Just go down the road. So apparently this is the first open world game uh, in the whole franchise, and yeah, it kind of shows. I'm guessing it used to be a much larger bridge, or are they constructing a bridge? Uh, no, I think that I think they're restoring it or whatever. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Can't say I know. Okay, they didn't mean to do that. I thought, okay, mate. Alright, that way I can just talk to people if I have the opportunity. Let's see. Still further along. Let's see. Getting close now, probably. Almost. Oh. Hey, a blimp! Check that out! Awesome! Alright. 
We'll do it. Fast Travel Point Police Station. Alright, let's see if we can find out anything about my mama's death. Huh? Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, no I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Why? Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. You could say that. You could say what other words too. Happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. Hmm. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Yes. Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. So yeah, back to the old ditch where it's like some random guy come off off the street to, to the police station and say, Hey, I can do your job better. Alright, fine. Go ahead and do it. Alright. the police station. Okay, no. Um, wait, John, sorry. Okay. Uh, consequences. Luca, what you've done. Oh, it's just the uh, article. Right, Casebook. See, vocal story. Oh, no. Mistress of Disguise. Police need to get the sketch of the thief who robbed Mr. Nini's Atir. The sketch artist is able to capture the likeness of the culprit, but my disguise skills may be proved more effective. The Atir is located at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way in Scaladio. Okay. Uh, Knights Road, Trinity Way, Scaladio. Knights Road, Trinity Way, Scal. Where's Knights Road? I, uh. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Knight's Road, wait, hold on. It'd be nice to get, if you could, like, just tell you. Let's see, Queen Street. Oh, wait, that's Queen Street. Maybe Knight's Road into far, no. Yeah, what's this? So, no. Knight's Road, where's Knight's Road? Knight's Road, Knight's Road, Knight's Road. Queen Street, Queen Street, no, I'm just Uh, I'll see, no, So it's somewhere in this little general area here. Hey. Oh. Let's see, uh, Nitro, Nitro, Nitro. Wait, train it. Nitro, train, okay. Found a train way, but where's Nitro? Oh, Nitro, train way. Alright. Alright! No, hold on. Alright, this way. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, that was quick. That's what I wasn't thinking. No, not there. Oh, here we are. I'm pleased to meet you, Mom. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, Signore. Oh, uh, let's see. Hi. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. Ooh. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? Facial all features? Right. Never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. Hmm. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Okay. Where can I find the clothes? 
They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Careful's my middle name. Just last week I jumped off a bridge and didn't break any bones. Uh, Alright. Let's have a look, huh? What does Okay, hold on. Here we go. Is this wardrobe on your You'll hit dead ends with your investigation if you don't dress appropriately. Luckily, Sherlock has a punch for disguises, so visit the wardrobe menu to change your outfit. Okay. Uh, wardrobe, okay. Uh, no. Uh. Ew. John's fit too. What is she had some. Well, whatever. Um, let's have a look around just to make sure. Oh, here we go. Two wardrobe items required. What else can I acquire? Uh, wait, what? I thought I saw something. No. Okay. Oh, wait. Four. Okay. Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Come on, at least do him first. Okay, um... No, uh, wardrobe, okay. Pretty sure that, pretty sure, okay, yeah. So... Oh. So yeah, do that. For his hat, uh, Then for, I don't think I can change his suit, uh, can I? Um, yeah. What kind of glasses does he have? I don't think he has glasses. Okay, but he look old. Alright, I can do that. Alright. Okay, and then... Wait, well, yeah. are there any suits in here that I can get? Ah, there we go. Suits. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let's have a look. Looks like blue and gray. Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure there's anything else. Ah! That's what I was missing. Alright. Uh, I think that's pretty close. Make sure there's anything else here I can get to help my wardrobe. That's that may be it. Okay, well, hold on. As long as I, I press Miss Nini by pressing the man in the pain before I turn to disguise myself as a thief. I think I look pretty good. We want to make sure there's anything else here to grab. John has wares if you have coin. Oh god, none of that. I think that's uh Uncle Giovanni Oh signore you look exactly like my uncle He's the grandson of the Doge of Venice, you know. Ooh. I knew you reminded me of someone. You are as alike as two peas. Uh, perhaps you have some royal blood in you too. Maybe. That is flattering, I suppose, but I sincerely doubt it, ma'am. He's a doge. All right. That's a deduction. He's not an actual doge. If you say so, my... Well, let's see. Uh, we need the, um... Use the clothes and workshop. The thief looked like an utter rascal. He was beaten up and was wearing glasses. Okay. So... Okay. The doge. Wait, hold on. What can I do for you, Sherlock? 
it. Nothing. Okay, so. Looks like an utter rascal. So. We'll go with that. Um, didn't say he was wearing a hat, so we'll go without it. They say he was wearing glasses. We'll go for that. And they say he looked, uh... Oh, uh, they say he looked, uh, beat up. Uh, we're a rascal. He probably... Yeah, let's wear glasses and maybe... A rascal. No, uh, it looks sophisticated. Uh, this looks too good. Maybe a, uh... Well, what's that thing on the side there? Eh, I don't know. Um, we'll go with, uh... That. It looks a little unkempt there, and... No... We'll see. This may be it, too. Let's go have a look. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a moustache. Yes, the kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd Seriously? say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, Mom. Alright, got new info about Skishin. It was with a moustache. Alright, oh, alright, fine. Let's... Alright. This guy doesn't look too bad, honestly, yeah? Try it now. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. What? All right, I've got it. A beige? Is there anything else you want to tell me? Beige suit. Ugly. Okay. All right. This. This guy doesn't look like a vagrant. He looks like just a guy who got beat up. He was wearing a hat. Didn't I tell you about the hat? It didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know? Black? I wanna... I usually don't wanna punch old women, but I will make an exception for her. Okay. Time. He's wearing a black hat. Probably... I assume that, yeah. Okay, this guy doesn't look too bad. Besides the little beat up face, it looks okay. Ah, it's you! I mean, it's him! It's oh. him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let rentals? me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Alright. Do I still have the uh, police uniform? Okay, let me just... Alright, first off, uh, let's see. Switch the thief. Uh. Alright. So wait, okay, I got a police uniform now. Uh, that's what, what the heck? Ice Cream John? Partner Coning Toy. Partner Coning Toy. Is that like, supposed to be a riff on Arthur Conan Doyle? The guy who made Sherlock Holmes? I don't know whether or not to be insulted by that or laugh at that, so I'm just going to insultingly laugh. Huh, 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 huh. I swear, the people nowadays. It's like, what are they even doing? What's going on? Uh, I worry about our about the future of gaming when they can make jokes like that about such a man who gave us one of the greatest literary characters of all time. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, get rid of that. Okay, um... Wait, police station, okay. She said she was gonna show me where... Chronicle, Newsboy, Bruce, Aqueduct, what's this? Cemetery, what's this? Clothing Trader, alright! Well, maybe when we're done with the police station, we'll uh, 
head over there and get some clothes. Where, where is it? Oh, oh yeah, right here. Duh. Alright. Don't worry, man. I'm here to help her. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Huh. I don't... Uh, were we hey, talking about the same Logan, person? We've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. All right. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Well, I suppose. Hey, I got money! Alright, let's see. Police archives. Oh. Arch Alright. Evidence room. Uh, I guess that's the same thing as Chief Inspector Vladio, whatever that was. Um, no, okay, so this isn't it. Uh, Archives, here we go. Let's have a look around. There's gotta be something in here. Ah! Oh, hello. Hmm. No? It's over here then. Alright, here we go. Police archives. Select the evidence in three search criteria. Let's see. Thief's portrait. The portrait of the thief who robbed Neil's atelier. Um, crime subjects. Uh, witnesses. Uh, suspects. Uh, okay. Sketching a thief. Um, thief's description. Okay. No. Um. Description. Uh. No, uh, this portrait, uh, evidence, criminal crime documentation, impounds, criminal pattern, district, no, uh, doc, I guess documentation, uh, sketching a thief, thief description, she writes that John says that it's probably Mr. Norton, uh, um, this portrait, um, property, uh, smoke, Property crimes. I, I don't know. Will that count? Is <sighs> so yeah. Okay, here, here we go. archive. Choose the evidence marked with a red, uh, with a book. I sorry, with a book icon. Read it carefully. Yeah. Choose appropriate search criteria for the selected evidence. Uh, three criteria must be selected before searching. Okay. So we'll try this again from the beginning. So. But Nave has the red bookmark and uh. Hold on. Uh, Vogel, oh wait, Vogel story, okay. Okay, here we go, okay. It's the man that left my mother's watch on a grave. Vogel claimed that belonged to, it was waiting to return where I belonged to me. He also mentioned that there was a police location for my mother's death. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, evidence, uh, um, Grand Saray, uh, uh said, Old Cities. Wasn't it? Hold on. The, it was in, where was it? Miner's End was where the uh, things happened. Okay. So, districts, Miner's End, uh, evidence. Uh, I don't know if it'll be done. Subjects, uh, witnesses, uh, go for that. And then, let's see, crimes, violent crime, property crime, ugly misdemeanors, complaints. Uh, we'll try uh, evidence. Uh, Instruments of crime, documentation, and uh, uh, crime, property crime. Oh, we'll try property crimes. Search. Nope. Okay. So, try again. So, subject, witness, uh, evidence, was it districts, minors, and. Uh, wait, no, we used to. Grand Sray is when we where we where we lived. Uh, crimes, property crimes. Let's try. Nope. Let's see crimes. We'll do um. 
misdemeanors, no complaints, no smuggling, no, no. Wait, the missing police files. All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled does a case of Violet Holmes. Uh, uh, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grand Surrey. Yeah? There are no documents inside at all. It seems there really was a police investigation, yet all the case and files are missing. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Alright, um... What? Oh! Getting close- Whoa! Whoa! What the? Uh, we go in flashback mind palace. Uh oh. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was Wait, vague, our... a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, um, here we go. Wait, hold on. Before I am sorry, it seems... Okay, so... I just had a flash of memory, a policeman in front of our manor, but what was he doing there? Someone manor must be located in Grand Surrey, yeah? I also had a glimpse of a bridge and a church on a hill. The manor must be somewhere nearby. Mine Palace, okay. Wait, missing records, uh? That doesn't mean anything. Alright, so, let's find out where... Wait, hold on. City Hall... We live somewhere... At Grand Saray. Oh, wait! Uh... Police Files, Treasure, Mystery, Shortcut... No, um... A little story now, I'm serious visitor. Back to Cortona, no, like you say, oh, John's bad, no. No, we'll just do, um, this one here. So there's a bridge nearby, but wait, hold on. Geek Bridge, uh, Cortona Cemetery. You know what? Okay, so, first off, we got to, uh, all those collected. Okay, we gotta go over here first. We gotta come outside, go down this way, down, and then over. Okay. So we gotta get some clothes first. And then we'll try and go and find the manor. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished. As if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Ooh. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Mm -hmm. Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. Are you even allowed to do one that? small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. All right, Follow then. me. Hello, officer. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. Well, they'll just You're leave if you don't need well me. You're a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An uh, automatic. Gun. A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. I already caught a criminal while I was room. here, and I was doing you know it for do uh, boredom. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Chillax suit? Okay, um... Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. See. To aim, press L2 and then fire with R2. Aiming activates slow motion and highlights objects you can shoot, but only for a limited time. To manage reveal the pistol, press square. Okay. Oh. Come on, come on. Hooray! 
proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. All right, all right. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. Press zero to crash. Start between sending and crashing. You roll press. Steady, Sherry. Steady. And my favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. Okay. She highlights the many weak points of how new objects shooting these will open your foes up for arrest when aiming at environmental objects. Make sure your enemy is proximately within your in proximity before you fire. Okay, um. And. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. I like that I can shoot. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh. Hooray! All right, let's move on, Sherry. All right, all right. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Shock block his snuff, uh, little snuff box and nearby enemies to distort them. Press R1. This ability must recharge after each use, but every rush you make speeds up the recharge. Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Huh? Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but I know what true to do. combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. Who is the that fun goes in for that? In the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Well, yeah, I'm not Bond. Like James they Bond. A different uh, British person. So, a different author. Are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. All right. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Murder is Good luck, cruel Sherry, and excessive. And remember, Try to arrest the enemy the instead. The surroundings are your, your playground. Getting close. Press F to arrest them. Following the cues prominent to immobilize your foe. Okay. All right. I'm coming. Oh. Oh man. I'm coming for you. Oh. It won't work this way. I'm coming. Weaken him first. Uh, oh, hold I missed the party. It won't work this way. Bring him in closer, then. I'm oh. coming. Come on, bring it on, boy. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. There we no go. No more crime for you until next month. I got him? Oh. Take All a right. rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. Well. Time to... Oh, oh man. The different. Uh... I couldn't miss the party. I'm gonna hurt you. Come on. Okay, there we go. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. Pepper snuff? Uh, okay. That's enough. You've proved yourself. Yeah, baby. on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, 
and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Ah, it's that's where it started. To make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll Harsh. I'll stock all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Thanks. I guess. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. Maybe we should do like a small crime first. The abandoned lair has been marked on your map. Press these us open how to, pl how to play screen. Okay. Uh. Bandit lairs are replayable combat arenas you can find in the city. There's one bandit lair hidden in each district. This icon on the map indicates the bandit lair. Lairs usually feature more enemies and harder combinations than there are in the story. Surviving the lair awards you with money depending on your combat performance. Resting all enemies in each lair unlocks specific challenges. The challenges are to complicate combat they can affect health replenishment remove convenient objects etc unlock and activate as many challenges you can handle to earn one of five ranks each successful rank grants a bigger coin reward multiplier um you can spend your hard fought money to buy unique costumes from traders in the city you cannot skip the combat inside bandit later but you can choose to not engage with them at all okay oh here we go. what's this the Colleen Shangle. Sorry, the Colleen Shangles. Uh, here we go. Um, let's see. Worker testimony. I was just sitting there minding my own business when the trader hit the soldier and he crashed onto my table. How could I stay calm? So I might have grabbed a bottle and smashed it over the trader's head. I don't remember anything after that. So. Trader's testimony. That sailor started pushing me around, although I didn't mean to spill my drink on him. I fell on the shoulder. So on the soldier who lashed at me like I was my fault, I had to stand up for myself, but then someone smashed me with a bottle and I blacked out. Barman says, Moe, the trader spilled his beer on the sailor, and boy, that escalated quickly. I remember how the sailor swung a chair at the trader. Uh, hold on. So, but missed and hit the worker instead. I didn't see anything else. I was hiding behind the counter to wait out the mayhem. Soldier's testimony. The traitor punched me in the face and broke my glasses. I was my only pair. The Ottoman scum hate all of us. How long do we have to put up with them? Report number 1804. A sailor was stabbed to death in a fight at the Golden Ale Bar, which is located on Scarlet Street in the Old City, west of St. Uh, Ses Sesame Street? What? There's a there's a murder on Sesame Street. Jeez, this is like the happy time murders here. What's going on? We into Elmo and the Vens get a little, you know, get a little cranky during COVID. Come on, it's like this. Brian McLee, soldier, ally, chemist, dock worker, Salim, human, trader. Also, six hundred ten cases pending further investigation. Well, Let's head outside. Let's see how far away it is. If it's not too far away, I may go try and get it done before this episode ends, and then we'll save the mana for later. Let's see. Uh, on Scarlet Street in the old city, uh, west of Sesame Street. Okay, Scarlet Street. Uh, the old city. Uh, where's Scarlet Street? Uh, Scarlet Street. Oh, there's Sesame Street, uh, and there's Scarlet Street. Uh, Probably somewhere here. It's not too far away. Let's try and see if we can get there. This place is huge. I'll be able to do everything. It'd be nice if I had like a cart or something, you know, to take me places, but what are you gonna do? Oh, what's this? What's going on here? Uh, not my problem, I guess. Uh, I'm getting close. All right. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. I have some important work to do. Oh, down this way. There we go. Now I'm heading right for it. Anyway, I'm heading like in the opposite direction. I'm supposed to be going for the main story, but I want to see if I can solve at least one case in this episode before it ends. I always 
kind of like these series that have like this like more modern architecture because like the older architecture. Galito Bookshop. Okay. So no, I go down this way. I think there's a bridge to the old city. Harbor Master Building. Okay. All right. That's where I need to go. Just me here, I guess. I guess John's taking a break. Yeah. So I head down this way, uh, and then I'll probably have to go down. It's gonna be a little bit of a maze to get through it, but I can do it. It's getting late though. It'd be kind of nice they had like a little map icon, you know? Alright, and then... Oh no, uh, back there. Sorry guys, you're in my way! Alright, so then... Over here... I turn right. Uh, maybe. Ah, guess I'm going the long way around. Oh wait, maybe not. Ah, here we go. Northern Old City. So where is this place? Uh, golden L Bar. They look for the Golden L Bar. Should be somewhere around here. Uh, so she. Oh, we'll, we'll try uh, back down this way. Golden L bar, golden L bar. I mean, is this it? Here? No? Gotta be somewhere else around here. Sorry, kid. Hmm. Now I'm just kind of running around pointlessly. It's located on Scarlet Street in the west. Oh, wait, it's on. It's located on Scarlet Street. Uh, so, so it could be. Wait, hold on. West over here. Cordona's legendary pirate, the Robin Hood of the place. Do you recall it, John? I do. I wonder if... No. What is that? Wait, the Silver Hand Monument? New case, a hand-me-down? What? Another case? What's this? Karim of the Silver Hand, the pirate with a golden heart. I told you I remembered him. Hmm. Hey, Sherlock, I'm up here. Guess what I've found? A riddle, and it's about a treasure. Listen to this. What? John, you've surpassed yourself. The Silver Hand Riddles. On top of the monument was carved the first in a chain of riddles, which, as John says, leads to the Silver Hand's lost treasure. The first riddle. A hand with a a hand with treasure, a quest so sweet. Stand where years road and crooked street meet. A few steps toward the mosque. Left at the first stairs and find the courtyard a wishing well shares. Come on, Sherry. This is just like the old days. Sherlock and John on a pirate's treasure adventure. All right. Well, first off, I need to find this gold, this golden bar. So it's supposed to be here. Scarlet Street. Oh, maybe I should go along like this. It could be all the way back. Yeah, for all I know. It says on Scarlet Street. Uh, 
seni görmek mi? Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Gotta be somewhere nearby. Oh no, uh, I should have gone. I should have gone down. Yeah, this way. Wait, golden eel. Okay. Here we go. This is where I need to be. Uh, whoa. What would you like? On today's menu, we have stomach punching, head kicking, and the chef's special throat slitting. Let's have a look around. Spilled beer, let the spilled blood. Evans number two. So. Someone must have landed hard on it. Oh, yeah. The lenses are very thick. The owner of these glasses is very nearsighted. Uh, yep. Um, can I move? Okay, there we go. Shards of a broken bottle with blood on them. Yep. Number four. Solid oak. It took quite a blow to break it. a lot of blood. The victim was stabbed several times. That's that's not it. What? What else am I supposed to be looking at? I don't know what else I'm supposed to be looking at. Huh? I'm supposed to find. No. Why well, say two if there's only one thing to look at here? Am I supposed to be looking for? Nope. Oh, hold on. Sharp enough to gut a fish or a man. An ordinary kitchen knife. All right, that's okay. That's it. So. Ah. Here we go. Okay. We got something going on. Let's see. Wait. Or. Yeah, because. Yeah, here he just like. Yeah, spill his beer on him. So let me just make sure. No. There's the other one. Alright. Let's see. No. Let's see. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see who else is there. Alright, yeah. Knocks him into there. No, because the glass bot. Yeah, go. But hold on. No. Doesn't 
doesn't make any sense. Now we're gonna start over again because something doesn't make sense here. There can't be two people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, look over here again. Okay, so it looks like someone swung the bottle and they fell. Okay, so yeah. So what's the bottle? That's the one. The chair. So the chair landed there. Let's try again. Oh, no, yeah, of course I'm right, yeah. So yeah, spill this beer. Nope. There we are. Punched him. Fell in there. Okay, so over here, there was, this is the uh, bottle. And then, this guy was, the, nope. The chair. No, wait, no, 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 no. Because the bottle, he smashed him and then he landed this way. He landed this way. So this guy. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then. No, no. I need the bottle. I need the bottle. No. No, hold on. No. No, wait, no, it had to be the chair. And then this guy here was the bottle. Because then. Because then he um, threw the chair onto him. So let me just make this right. So they got to tussle. He fought. And that guy smashed him over the head with a bottle. And then that sailor. Smashed him with the chair, causing the bottle and everything else to fly over here, and then he dropped the chair. Then he came over here. Yeah, and then, yeah, then the knife. Wait, what else could it be? I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, that's it. Validate. Uh, I think that's it. You're not even trying, Sherry. What? Concentrate. Okay, well, we know that one is correct, because we saw the knife down there. So maybe it's the... May I have it right, huh? That's the only way... Wait, that's the only way it makes sense, though. Hold on, let's try again. No. That one right? I, I don't think so. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Me, I was right. Maybe something else over here is wrong. Let's. I'll explain the chair. Oh no, no. I need to have the bottle. Then, what else is available for here? No, that one make that one work. Oh wait, I made. It. Try that. So. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I am trying, John. Out. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I am trying, John, okay? I think that one's correct. Uh, has to be. And then, yeah, that, cause that guy got thrown to a table. What else could it be?
Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be right. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I'm getting really sick of this, so. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I still so wait, hold on. Let me look at the uh, look at the events again. I want you so this is the uh, workers. So. When I when I trade hit the soldier and crash onto my table, how can I say something? So I might have grabbed a bottle and smashed it over the trader's head. Uh. So the trader got smashed over the head. Okay, so we know that. Okay. So the trade. Okay, let me make. I'll say. That's the worker. The trader. Okay, the bald guy, yeah? Okay, so that's him. That's the trader. So the trader. Let's say that's why I pushed me. Okay, let's look at the sailor. Soldier. Soldier punched me. The trader punched me in the face and broke my glasses. I was my only pair. The almond scum hit. Oh, wait, no. Okay. So he was punched, because huh? that's why his glasses are there. So I think this is correct. Huh? So what else is... You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. It's starting to get a little annoying, because I'm, I'm trying... Let's see, the Ottoman scum hates all this, all this... Okay, no. The trader punched me in the face and broke my glasses. Okay. So the soldier... So the soldier... Unless this one's wrong, but I doubt. I think it's only one. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Let's see. The trader spilled his beer on the soldier, and boy, things look ugly. I remember how the sailor swung a chair at the trader, but missed and hit the worker instead. So the work. Oh, so the worker. And the hat. What was it? Wait, hold on. No. So that was the worker. Is that right? You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. So I was sitting in my business when the trader hit the soldier and he. Cr so the trader hit the soldier. Okay, so this should be the soldier then, right? Has his glasses, and the soldier said that he lost his glasses. Okay. So when the troll hit the soldier and crashed into my tail, punch, he punched him in the face. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay. So I think this one's correct, huh? Still started pushing me around, although I didn't mean to spill my drink on him. Feel the soldier who lashed at me was my fault. So I had to stand for myself, but then someone smashed me with a bottle and I blacked out. So okay, so I think this is correct. I think this is correct too. So yeah, that's the worker. So he's bald, and then so the he smashed me. With, I think that's correct. Let's go to, uh, who hit him with it? Uh, the worker. Wait, the worker couldn't be because he's here. Alright, come on, can I smash it? So I might have grabbed a bottle and smashed it over the trader's head. Okay, so that makes sense. Huh? So then the soldier. So almost in the sailor. One of these has to be sailor. So the ball smash over the head. Okay, that makes sense. This one is there. One with the so with the. Uh... So, please tell me that validates it. 
There we go. It started Fine. when the trader accidentally spilled his beer over the sailor. The trader punched the soldier who came crashing down on a table. Eh? The worker smashed a bottle over the trader's head. Then the sailor knocked the worker out with a chair. Eh? The soldier is the real killer. He wanted to knife the trader but killed the sailor due to his poor eyesight. Key evidence collected. Huh? Alright. Okay, okay. Bar fight. The answer is always a soldier seeking to kill. He wanted to kill the traitor, but attack the soul sailor due to his poor eyesight. Huh? Alright. My pet. Nope. Alright. Um. Pl uh, place on map. Huh? Um. Wait. Oh yeah, this stuff. Uh, let's go back to the police station and give our evidence. Uh, no, I can't. I can't fast travel from here. Is there anything else I'm missing? Just to be sure. No. I think this is it. John, I think we did it. What would you like? On today's menu, we have stomach punching, head kicking, and the chef's special. All right, let's go back to the police station. All right, hopefully this is where I have to go in order to uh, take care of things. You have three people detained on suspicion of murdering a sailor in a bar fight. All evidence indicates that the soldier among them is the true killer. He was the last man standing. Very well. Soldier or not, he'll get what he deserves. I'll see to it personally. Ooh. Nice work. Try solving another case. It seems you have a knack for it. Oh, I wonder how. All right, I got my money. All right, then. Oh. Man, that was a lot. That was a lot, and that took a while. But I like kind of liked the thinking it through, even though I kind of guessed on it at some points. But yeah, that was fun. Oh, uh, but I think we're gonna end it there for tonight. Uh, it's getting late. I got work tomorrow, and I doubt anyone's gonna be up this late watching anyway. And remember, people, if you're watching this here on YouTube, like, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. It helps out me, and I'm just glad you guys are watching it and enjoying it. If you're watching this on Twitch, thanks for being in here. You know. I just do this for fun, but if anyone can get any enjoyment out of this, I'm happy for it. And until next time, people, ta-ta, and goodbye for now.